Good day, I'm James from Retico, and today we're going to look at the out-of-the-box configuration of the Stratus ZTC Edge. The initial configuration will be done using a keyboard and a screen connected directly to the ZTC Edge. If setting up a system with multiple nodes, only connect to the one unit and leave the other unit disconnected. Once the node has been powered on, we will wait for the system to boot. Setup will be performed by following the on-screen prompts. This process takes a long time, during which power needs to be maintained to the hardware. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using a static IP address, although DHCP can be selected. Once saved, the system will proceed with the configuration. When prompted, we will connect to the ZTC Edge using a web browser on an engineering laptop or PC. Log on to the system using the default username and password. Follow the prompts to accept the end user license agreement and set the system IP. To simplify management, the system IP is a single address which is used to manage the entire system, regardless of which node is the primary in a redundant deployment. After setting the system IP address, reconnect to the system using the new IP address. Accept the end user license agreement and recheck the IP addresses. If you have an internet connection, you can download your license now, or this can be done later after the setup is complete. Set a new user password following the password requirements. We'll need to log in again after the password has been set. The system is now set up as a single node system. To add redundancy, we'll need to add the second node. Using the dashboard, we can open physical machines and click add a PM to add the second node. A wizard will go through all the required steps to complete the synchronization of the two nodes to form a redundant system. The pairing process can take up to 30 minutes. The system will confirm if successful pairing has taken place. Next, open the preference page and click IP configuration to verify all the IP address settings of the system. If required, an IP address may need to be set up for the second node. Depending on the licensing, there may still be warnings which need to be addressed. The system is now configured and ready to add your virtual machines. Thank you for your time. 